Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl OG Chizzy Beats, and first of all, Happy New Year. So to start off the new year, I'm actually gonna be doing something that I should have done back in 2021, which is release this Gunna tutorial that I've been talking about. So I feel like this is perfect timing because Gunna just dropped DS4, which is the last installment of the Drip Season albums that he's been doing. And in this beat, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make a ambient, wavy, but also kind of like bubbly, if that makes sense, type of Gunna beat with some hard wheezy drums. So if you're interested in seeing how I do that, go ahead, keep watching, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and let's go ahead and get into the cookup. Okay, y'all, so the first thing I did to make this beat was decide the type of vibe that I was going for. So I decided I wanted kind of like a wavy, ambient beat and something also kind of like bubbly, kind of like the song Bubbly on Young Thug's album Punk. So what I decided to do was go into Analog Lab and look for an ARP. And what I landed on was this sound called Girls Like ARPs, which I just think is funny because I'm a girl. I like ARPs. <laughs> and um, it's in the Millennia Bank, and this is what it sounds like. So once I had that sound picked out, what I just did was lay down this simple chord progression. So this is in the key of A major, and I'm mostly using triads um, for the most part. So what I did is I laid this note down, went up three notes to a C sharp, and then went up four notes to an F sharp. And then to come up with the second chord, I just took this and I moved it down one, two, three, four, five. And I just repeat that pattern throughout the whole chord progression. And as you can see later on, I just add on um, basically octaves of the top note just to give it some more fullness. And all together, this is what it sounds like. So then the next thing I did was layer this up with actually the same sound. I just used that ARP sound again and I pitched it up one, one octave and I extended the chord so that it kind of fills in the blank space. So pitched up and extended, this is what the second layer sounds like. And the effects that I added to this ARP were just a parametric EQ just to cut out some of the low end and the high end. And when I play the short version of the ARP and the long version of the ARP together, you kind of sound hear that it sounds like a delay of some sort. And this is what it sounds like. All right, so once I had that, the next thing I did was decide to layer this up with another sound. And I've been using this new bank that I got from the Loophole Collective. This is not sponsored. I just like this bank a lot. And it's called Aperture, and it has a, a analog lab and also a one-shot kit. And I used the one-shot sound called Edison, which is kind of like a synth. And I just took those same chords and I used this sound. And this is what it sounds like. So the only effect that I added to this sound was a parametric EQ just to cut out some of the high end frequencies. And then the next sound that I layered this up with was another synth sound called Arizona from that Aperture Kit. And here I didn't actually take the full chords and layer it up. I just took certain notes from the chords just to kind of create another melody. And this is what it sounds like. So yeah, I really like how that sounded. And with the layer so far, this is what the beat was sounding like. So yeah, really ambient, really wavy setting that tone. So the next thing I decided to do was add a key sound um, which is just a piano sound from another one shot kit. This is from the seven six collective. And this is just kind of adding more body to the layers that I was already building and kind of adding some darkness with the keys. And this is what the sound sounds like. Thank you. 
So yeah, as you can see, I added some other notes on here, but I ended up taking them out because simplicity is always the key. So the effects that I added here were, um, I started off with the Cymatics Origin plugin, which is kind of like a down sampling. It just kind of muddies up the sound a little bit. So I just turned it down to about 16,000 Hertz, um, left, turned down the movement a little bit, kept the saturation as what it was and turned off the reel. Then I added a fruity chorus and then I added vinyl and I put it on the 1950s preset just to kind of give it an old weathered type of sound. So with the other elements of the beat, this is what it sounds like. So now that I finished with kind of building out the layer and the base of the beat, what I wanted to do was actually add a melody. So the first thing I did was choose out this sound again from the aperture bank um, called meditation. And this is what it sounds like. So it's just like a nice, cool, like bouncy sound. And I created this really super simple melody that sounds like this. So yeah, I added no effects to that. And with all the other elements, this is what it sounds like. So the next melodic element that I added to this beat was this glockenspiel sound, again, from the Aperture Bank. Um, again, this is not sponsored. I just like it a lot. And it sounds like this. And what I basically just did was um, kind of create this ringing sound this ringing effect by just putting them after another and this is what it sounds like so it kind of just adds this an accent with the beat and the last melodic element that i added for this beat was this sound called wavering and this is kind of like the main melody that i'm going to use during the chorus of the beat and this is what it sounds like So the only effect that I added to this was just a fruity chorus on the default and that was it. So with all the melodic elements, this is what the beat sounds like so far. So I really liked how wavy and ambient that sounded. And to switch it up for the verse, what I decided to do was just render that all out into an audio file and put halftime on it. And this is what I'm gonna be using for part of the verse. So yeah, halftime is just a quick and easy way to add variation to a beat so it doesn't sound too repetitive. So once I had the melody of my beat figured out, what I moved on to next, of course, was the drums. So I kind of kept my drums pretty simple by not having many sounds that I was using. And this is what it sounds like. So yeah, so the first thing that I started off with was this snare and I'm just putting it on every three, every third note of each measure. Then I layered that up with this clap. Then I moved on to my 808 because I feel like in these type of beats, the 808 kind of really pushes the melody and I wanted to make it kind of like that wheezy style, that bouncy kind of space style, but also some rolls in there if that makes sense. So this is the 808 pattern that I came up with. So yeah, I like that a lot. And this is kind of like the waveform of the 808. I think this is, I'm not even gonna say what I think it is because I feel like I'm gonna get it wrong even though I should know it and then I'm gonna look crazy. But yeah, that is the 808 pattern that I came up with. Then I moved on to my hi-hats. And since like the drums are pretty much pretty simple, I just decided to add like a few rolls here and there to kind of spice up this beat. And um, this is the hi-hat pattern that I came up with.
so yeah the hi-hats are kind of busy but um that kind of fills up the space of the um kind of laid back drums and yeah just add rolls as you see fit try not to do too much with it but it's all preference and then the final drum elements that i added was this snare to kind of play with the clap and this is what it sounds like and then i added this open hat and this is what it sounds like So yeah, I'm super happy with how that beat sounds like. It's very ambient, wavy. I can definitely hear Gunna and Young Thug hopping on this and doing what they got to do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this makes up for <laughs> me putting this off for so long. Um, but after I heard DS4, I was like, I got to cook up some. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you guys want to see from me next. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.